Today I just had a salad with some tricolor um, tortilla strip things and then I made some shrimp in butter and garlic and just put that on lettuce with some parmesan cheese. Today I did a homemade fajita, basically just shaved the chicken breast very thin, cut up some onion and pepper, fried it up and then put the seasoning on. I'm just going to put some sauce that comes in the seasoning packet and that's pretty much it. Four carbs on the, uh, the tortilla. Today's lunch is gonna be an antipasta salad. I am using ranch dressing. So this is, the only carbs that are in this is basically the tomatoes and very low in the rest of the stuff. Um, so it's very low carb dish and my ranch dressing is two carbs. So we should be good. My breakfast is three pieces of thin Taylor ham and two fried eggs. So that's pretty much it. Then I ate one more meal. So what I have lunches. here is a bunless burger bowl. Basically, it's just two hamburgers, very thin hamburgers, um, that I patted out with some cheese, lettuce, tomato, um, two baby dill pickles, and um, I put mayonnaise in it. And then I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of sugar-free ketchup on top. But that's dinner. So here's just some air fried chicken wings with just salt. That's pretty much all it is. So zero carbs. Here is um, a salad at Friendly's. It's chicken bacon ranch. On Sunday, I am allowing myself to have 40 carbs instead of 20 like I do throughout the week. So this salad was about, I think, 42 carbs, I believe. So it worked in my schedule. So I made homemade sauteed vegetables and a London broil, and that's sugar-free ketchup. But does this not look amazing? So this is probably, I'm gonna say about four carbs, um, maybe five, because the sugar-free ketchup is one carb. So that looks delicious. Breakfast. It's two eggs with one piece of cheese, and then two pieces of Taylor ham with a cheese on each. So three cheeses, two eggs, two hot. So this is dinner. It is just lettuce, tomato with some bacon, um, and just um, like a tablespoon of mayonnaise, all mixed in. So it's basically a BLT in a bowl. This is just London broil, some carrots, and some celery that I put in the crock pot for a couple hours with some chicken broth, and I just add ketchup to it. But it's really good. It's nice and soft. Two fried eggs, two pieces of Taylor ham, a slice of cheese, and ketchup. So today I made some sausage and peppers, and it's just in a bowl. The meat has no carbs. The sausage and peppers, I will look up, but I believe they're in this bowl, there's probably about the most seven carbs. Um, and that's the most, I would assume, so not bad. So this salad my mom actually made me. Um, it's just lettuce, one egg, tuna fish with some mayonnaise, um, some croutons, tomato, and I believe, it, oh, and some cheese on top. So my mom made this for me. It looks professional, doesn't it? This Delicious. is um, boneless ribs, uh, it's pork, and I boiled it first to soften it, then added low sugar barbecue sauce, and then baked it to get that, you know, glaze for about 40 minutes. So. Delicious. Okay, so what you see here is zoodles. It is zucchini noodles, and then I put some, um, I cooked up some beef with the Italian sausage sauce, which has low carbs, and that's why I got it. And then see the noodles, and then just some Parmesan cheese on top. So I'm going to move it around so you can kind of see what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. So the zoodle things are, I believe, six carbs per one serving. So if I eat this entire thing, which I don't think I'll be able to, it would be 12 plus five carbs for the sauce, which is another five. So a total of 17 carbs. If I eat half of this, of course, it'd be 6.5. So I'm sorry, is that right? No. 8.5. Okay. Hey guys, so, so this is one of my dinners. It is half of a small ham steak. This one is, I believe, brown sugar ham so it does have a few carbs in it it would be six carbs per serving um so i did half which would be six carbs you can get zero carb ham but i had gotten this one actually by mistake so i'm just gonna eat it um and then here is my broccoli 
low carb casserole. I'm using Velveeta, butter, about four or five crackers that are lower in carbohydrates, and fresh broccoli. Um, this whole meal would be about, I'll say 12 carbs for the whole meal. So not bad for dinner. Um, I try to stick to 20. Uh, my flash isn't on, but you can pretty much get the gist of, of what this is. It is a hamburger salad bowl. So basically it's just lettuce, tomato, or American cheese on top of crumbled hamburger with some bread and butter pickles, um, pickle chips, and um, bacon. So, hey guys, so today good. I have my half a cup of the high key cereal, a few strawberries, um, and then four sausages with sugar free syrup. So, that's what my breakfast so, is looking like. So, today is just hamburger meat on a tortilla, um, which is four carbs for the tortilla with some sugar free ketchup. That's all I'm eating for dinner. Looks good to me. So, here, guys, I have two scrambled eggs, plain with just salt and pepper, three pieces of thin Taylor ham, and some sugar free ketchup. And I have my Gator A0. So this whole meal is probably about one carb because the ketchup, but it's sugar free, so it has about one carb. Even my Gatorade is a uh, zero, I believe, less than zero percent. So good to go. Today I'm doing pork chops in sugar free barbecue sauce, which I threw out the container already, but I'll link it in the corner there. So, I'm waiting for this to get done. Six hours. Hey guys, so that was just the gist of what I've been eating for the last three weeks. Today's only Friday, so I still have two more days to possibly lose a little bit more. Um, like I said, I showed you I was going to eat the pork for dinner with the barbecue sauce. So, that's tonight's dinner with some broccoli again. So, a lot of those meals were doubled, meaning if I had it on Monday, I may also have finished up the leftovers on a Wednesday. So, I didn't want to keep showing you the same stuff. But I hope this helps some of you guys who are unable to think about something to eat for dinner. Um, it's been helping me a lot. I've lost 17 pounds and I wish you guys the best if you're on your diet journey too.